And I come out to the shelf break at least once or twice a year. And it was amazing to see the diversity of marine life down here. It was a great feeling to be trying to identify and understand how these creatures use their ocean environment and to use our understanding of the physical oceanography to try and imagine what these creatures' lives are like, to imagine how they go after their prey. The shelf break is the boundary between waters of the continental shelf and the deeper continental slope. The reason the shelf break is so important is that there's a persistent upwelling cell that tends to bring nutrients from deeper down in the water column where they're abundant up into the near surface region where there's plenty of light. We think that marine life is abundant at the shelf break because of this upwelling cell. We're using two major tools for the physical oceanographic part of this project. During the night, we do large, broad-scale surveys with a towed, undulating vehicle called a scanfish. And then during the day, we're going back and sampling it with an autonomous underwater vehicle. And that vehicle contains instruments for water temperature, the water salinity, but it also contains a very high-resolution side-scan sonar. Normally, that's used to image the bottom of the ocean but we're examining how well it can image fish schools. Oceanographers at any time can go out and find water. They never miss. And if they do, they probably shouldn't be oceanographers. The biology is difficult because of the unpredictability of it. You can't always go out and find fish or find the fish that you want. You really never know where you're gonna find them or what you're gonna be doing. One of the most challenging things is identifying and calibrating the particular sonar return to the type of fish it is, because their different structure can reflect the sound waves differently. Sometimes we want to see the fish in the area, what potentially is being insonified. We were thinking about ways without actually having to catch the fish. One of those is the camera. So we put it out on the Remus, and sure enough, see these images of a school of little tuny coming in and checking out the Remus and swimming with it briefly until they realize it's nothing that's either gonna be good to eat or gonna hurt them, and they veer off and go away. It's so exciting to be out here doing the high resolution physical oceanography and then being able to see five minutes after we recover the Remus vehicle the distribution of the fish schools. I think that this project by tying closely together the physical oceanography and the biology of understanding the fish school distribution, it offers a new direction and hopefully one that we'll be participating in in the future. <laughs>